Hey guys, welcome back to my core takeover. We've noticed that a lot of people are currently talking about what diet they put their macaws on or what diet they put their parrots on, given different views on there as well. So we thought today we'll just share with you our new mix that we're given with Maui. As you can see, he absolutely loves. This is a completely natural mix. All of these products are available via Amazon. I'll make sure I link everything down below in the description. So let's start off by going through them one by one. So first up we have beetroot from Super Garden. Uh, you can find these on Amazon and they are freeze dried. So a lot of the ingredients we're putting in where applicable are freeze dried because they lock in all nutrients and there's no artificial sugars or colors of course added. So next up we have the first of our flowers. These are dried moulin, I think that's how it's pronounced, but dried moulin flowers. These are great for vitamin C, vitamin B and it's a good source of iron and calcium as well. Apparently these are also used to make a nice sweet tea. Might have to try that at some point. So now we have Flaked Dulse from the Cornish Seaweed Company. And again, another good source of iron and these are particularly high in protein as well. And actually this one adds a slightly rich smoky flavor. I must admit the smell so far is absolutely great. So next in is some pink freeze dried dragon fruit from Zingy Zoo. This comes out a little bit lumpy. Oh, sorry, Maui's just starting to do the splits there between us because he wants to get in in the action. So bear with us while we uh, pick him up and make sure he doesn't drop down. There he goes. I thought I'd leave that in just for fun. So yeah, so this comes out a little bit lumpy. So you can actually break this down um, and when you mix it up. But a little bit of word of warning with this, Maui likes to dip this into his water. So every morning, he makes his water pink. So quickly moving on, we have hibiscus flowers. Bit of mouthful there. The hibiscus flowers here, commonly used in iced tea or just regular tea. So next up is dried bell peppers. So originally from South America, but now used commonly in cooking all over the world. Bell peppers are high in vitamins and low in calories. Absolutely smell amazing as well as look amazing. It's really is shaping up to be a colorful dish. So we're back on the flowers this time from Stripy Fields. This is a natural flower petal mix, which is a mixture of cornflower, roses, and lavender. A little bit of fun fact for you, a lot of people use this now for confetti, because it's natural and it's completely biodegradable. So we better make sure we don't take Maui to any weddings, otherwise he'll be after this. But yeah, this looks absolutely amazing once you dip it all in. It smells great too. So next in we have some coconut chips, also referred to sometimes as coconut flakes. I'm always taking a real keen interest in everything that's going on today. And he's actually trying to make his way down off of the sink and into the pole. So we'll see how that works out coming up. So next up we have dried carrots from Whole Foods. Not much more really to say about these. We'll point out, you've probably noticed that we're not really measuring quantities here. We're just tipping in the bags as they are. So we bought typically the small size bags and everything. And just mixed it in because we're gonna mix up the whole mix in the end. Then each time Maui gets a bowl, it's gonna be a random bowl of ingredients. So moving on, we have another dried vegetable. This time it is pumpkin pieces. So let's get those tipped in. Our mixing bowl is really starting to get full up now. So this is just a storage container from any shop or DIY sh shop, which you find out works pretty well. Oh, Maui's in there now, checking out the pumpkin pieces. Definitely a fan of those. He likes having a little forage as well while we're doing this. It's very hard keeping off this, but it's nice for him just to see what he, what he likes. Let's crack on with the next ingredients. We're not finished yet, Maui. Next up, we just have some regular monkey nuts. Now Maui particularly likes these. He likes cracking the shell and eats a nut. So we chuck those in as well. So now we have some more petals from the calendula flowers, which is also known as marigold. Let's get those in. Then following that up quickly as well with maize, or some of you might know this is regular corn, quite common for birds. We have just a handful of ingredients left. I know a lot's gone into this already, but trust me, it's definitely worthwhile. So next we literally have just some regular old dried chilies and peppers, which you can get from anywhere. But of course, as per all the other ingredients, I'll make sure the link is below in the description for you. The funny thing is Maui particularly likes chilies. 
I think most macaws do. It's weird, I couldn't possibly put one of these in my mouth. It's way too hot to me, but he loves them. So then let's put some regular dried banana chips in there as well. Again, these are particularly nice. He likes crunching these and also put them in his water to make them softer. A lot of his food seems to go in his water. Now we have some freeze dried sour cherry slices. And again, these were freeze dried from fresh, like all the different ingredients we've put in so far, which um, helps hold all the goodness inside it. So let's get those in and they look absolutely lovely and smell amazing. And then finally, we have some organic hemp seeds going in. So as you can see, there's quite a mixture here of seeds, dried fruits, petals, all sorts of different things all going into this bowl. So the next step really is to mix it up. Just get your hands in there, give it a good old mix so that all those ingredients we put in originally in the bottom are coming to the top. And each time we put Maui's bowl into this, he gets basically a different dish each time, you know, a different mixture of different quantities of these ingredients in there, which he absolutely loves. So this is basically our new diet for, for Maui. On top of this, he does also get a lot of chop, which is a mixture of fresh veg and fruit mixed up, chopped up together every single day, as well as having a bowl of this in his cage at all times. So hopefully this will work out for us. Hopefully it'll work out for you as well. I'll tell you what, just for a bit of fun, just before you go, um, let us know in the comments below what you think. But also let us know how many ingredients we put in today. And then for those, we'll pick one person at random and we'll send you something from Macaw Takeover, courtesy of us. Cheers, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this. Hope it's been useful. We will see you next time round.